Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I'm not so sure. And today, we're going to hit up a poll winner. So what this is about is, I haven't been listening to music from 2022, from this year, because I want to save it for reactions. You know, if I listen to it off the channel, I can't listen to it with you guys. And uh, there's... King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard doing five albums this year, I believe, and three of them have been pretty highly rated. So I put this up on a poll, asked you guys which album to hit, and you gave me the album to hit Oz, I'm, I forgot, Osmonium, Osmenium, I forgot the name of the album, I'm so sorry, but the song I chose was the 18 minute The Dripping Tap, which I just checked the lyrics, just four or five minutes ago and they're about climate change so the dripping tap is about oil and I think the lyrics are pretty simple uh, I'll pull them up if we need to I've got them cut and pasted so let's go ahead and hit up King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard the dripping tap here we go okay you got that fake vinyl sound ready? yep we're ready Oh, we got lyrics in Spanish and English. Excellent. The organ, drums, bass. comes the guitar. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow. Ooh. Mmm, I did not expect this. Oh! Rockin' out! Got twin guitars. Those drums! Mm. It's a long instrumental section. It's cool. Ooh. So much more rock and roll than I than I had anticipated.
Okay, little breakdown there. Those drum fills. Bass, drum, and organ, that's it. talking about rising sea levels there with a few yips and woohoos I'm just lighting this run I don't think they're gonna block this, I don't think. Ooh. Little wah wah, maybe? I'm listening to that bass right now. I did look for some live footage, but it was all cell phone videos. Wow. Hmm. That drummer. Mm -hmm. 
little shaker. Such high energy. Guys, do not let up. Got those sustained notes now. It's like a gallop now. That bass again. It's got a gritty, dirty tone. Okay, bring it down a little bit in tempo. Mm. Get some nice melody there. Reminds me of somebody, I can't put my finger on it. Repeating those lines.
song given the subject matter. guitar are now going to lead. Mm. Sorry, there's not much of a picture to look at here. I don't know what's going on with my lighting here. guitar. Nice little ending there. Ooh. <laughs> so what I'll say about this song, I like it quite a bit. Um, my real takeaway from this song is that I want to see it live for two reasons. Uh, one is because it's obviously a great high energy jam song to see in concert. But the other is because the only thing I really didn't like about the song was some of the vocal production early on uh, in the first half of the song. Um, so the, 
there was that intentionally lo-fi on the introductory uh, verse and you know I, I would just prefer that they they sing in a normal uh, vocal recording but I loved the tone on all the instrumentation I mean right away when the drums came in they sounded great and then the bass was great and all the guitars the two guitars and the organ it was pretty much just those instruments and like I say I thought I heard the hit of a gong or something at one point and uh, a, not, not a shaker but a, a zzz, that little uh, instrument I forget what that's called um, so a few added touches but just a very basic thing and that's why I think live it would be great so if I saw this in concert, I probably would give it an A+. Plus. As a recording, I'm going to give it like an A-. minus. Uh, I liked it a lot, and the subject matter is great. Uh, you know, the other reason I might dock the song a little bit, um, live, 18 minutes, no problem, sitting here at home, felt a little long. You know, the lyrics just keep repeating over and over again. Of course, thankfully, there's enough variety in the instrumentation behind it to keep it interesting. So I like the song a lot. I get why it's highly rated. And um, so a couple nitpicks on there, primarily the vocal production. Um, I don't know, just not my favorite style there, but in concert, they probably would not use that vocal production. They probably probably would just sing into the mic. And I think I, I would like to hear that. So um, yeah, no, no good live footage available right now that I could find. I'll just, uh, I saw some cell phone video from Red Rocks and some other places and that was it. So I'm going to keep it short. They're obviously killer players and killer musicians and I always enjoy listening to this band. It's a serious subject matter and they handled it with some ferocity and some urgency but with some humor too. Uh, kind of mocking the complacency of people and the suits and so forth and you know it's a wake-up call right let's get with it folks so uh, yeah yeah I liked it quite a bit so thank you for suggesting this the poll winner King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard the dripping tap and if you like what we're doing here a senior reacting to the new music in this case 2022 uh, hit that like or subscribe button, and as we say here in Mexico, buen dia.